Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Carla, and on this channel, I focus a lot on what young adults, specifically people who are in college, just about to graduate, or who have just graduated and need a little bit of guidance. So with that being said, today I wanted to talk about what to do after college graduation. Because for a lot of us, this can be one of the most scary times in our lives. We grew up pretty much our entire lives having structure. We always had someone there for us telling us what our new chapter will look like. I mean, think about it. In elementary school, everything was laid out for us. When we were in middle school, they prepared us for high school. When we were in high school, we had practiced SAT tests and guidance counselors that helped us with college applications. But in college, who was helping you prepare how to write your resume, develop behavioral skills, learn how to lead a business meeting? These are all skills we all need, but for some reason, it's not taught to us in a traditional school setting. So for someone to graduate from college and have to learn all this can be confusing and not to mention overwhelming. And if you want to learn more on how to be successful in the real world, be sure to check out my link below on Welcome Adulthood. It's for anyone who needs a little guidance on how to be successful in the real world, from learning how to get a job, buy your first home, how to prepare your own taxes, how to change your car tire, and so much more. And at my stage in life, I tend to reflect on some of the things I did right and also wrong in my earlier days. And it's not to say that there was anything per se bad, but there are things that I would have done differently had I known the outcome. And so I want to share a few things that I think would be helpful for those of you who are getting ready or will eventually make that transition from college life to the real world. For me, I automatically thought that after I graduated, I would easily get a job. But it doesn't work that way. Just because you have a degree doesn't guarantee you a job. You need experience. You need internships. But more importantly, you need a group of connections. If you are not on LinkedIn, you need to create an account because not only will it allow you to connect with others, but it'll also allow others to connect with you as well. And if you want to learn how to enhance your LinkedIn profile, then check out this video linked up here. It's so important after graduation to connect with as many people as possible, even if you already have a job lined up. You never know who you will meet and what other possibilities might be around. I also wanna address something that I feel like a lot of college grads feel anxious about, and that's moving back in with your parents. Granted, your parents have to be on board with this, but this is a great way of laying the groundwork and setting you up for ultimate financial and personal success. While it's more common than you might think, there's still that stigma that living with your parents can feel like you failed or that you are truly not independent. Now, I'm not saying to live with your parents forever. There's something wrong with moving back for maybe a few months or even a couple of years while you search for a job and figure out what it is you want to do and even where you want to live. When you live with your parents, you don't have to worry about the same expenses you would if you were to live on your own. This is such a great opportunity for you to start saving up some money to use as a deposit on an apartment or your first place of actually owning your own home. And lastly, I want you to consider just getting a job. And here's what I mean by that. So often, when we graduate, we have that mindset that we need to get into a big name company so that we can all tell our friends and our parents can show off that we have a good job. That's a lot of pressure on you. I want you to consider getting an entry level job that feeds into your larger career goals. Getting a job and earning some income is better than just waiting around for the perfect job at the perfect company because let's face it, the job market is already so competitive. And if I'm being brutally honest, it could take you a while, if not years, to get into your dream company with the dream job. There, is also, there can also be value in having a job that's less than ideal too. It can teach you skills 
that you didn't know you need to have and how to deal with certain people. At the very least, having a job you don't love can motivate you to do the work more and push yourself to find another job that better fits you and this can be through networking or further education if that's required. At the end of the day, it's up to you to make your next move. Whether that's just getting another job, reaching out to others, or moving back into your parents, the choice is really up to you. But I do hope you found this video helpful. And remember, it's okay to feel anxious about what life after college holds for you. But don't wait for something to happen. Make something happen on your own. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next.